I did not plan on it being this sexy. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday, a show where it's Tuesday trying to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day! Almost. It's almost here. Unless you're watching on Valentine's Day, then happy Valentine's Day! Please like me. Speaking of Valentine's Day, I mentioned that I was gonna start doing more sketches on this channel, and tomorrow I actually have a Valentine's Day sketch. So please come back here and watch it, or turn on the notifications, even better. Then we can be together every time I post a video, and not just when the algorithm thinks you might want to see video from me that I posted. As YouTubers know, we really I really love that the algorithms are friends. It's really great. Really fucking love it. Anyway, Valentine's Day. Last year on Tasty Tuesday, I made something for Steve for Valentine's Day. And the year before that, I made something for single people. And this year, I think I want to make something that you can just give out to your friends or your colleagues or all of your crushes. I don't know your life, you hussy. I think cake pops are really cute. I've never made cake pops before. I hear they're kind of a bitch to make. I don't know if that's true. We're gonna find out. I'm kind of scared. Let's make this dish. So the first step to making cake pops is making the cake. That's step one. Normally on Tasty Tuesday, making the cake is the Tasty Tuesday. This time, we hate ourselves and we're making life very challenging. But it's Valentine's Day and we're super cute. Did I mention that we're super cute? We're super cute on this show. Uh, hello. Hi. Spice up your life. Thanks. So step one to making this cake is 350 degrees on the oven. Do it! Did you guess that? I feel like I could have guessed that by now. I feel like I'm learning. I'm progressing. Next, if you have buttermilk, great. Good for you. If you don't, we're gonna make our own buttermilk. Buttermilk, it'll achieve the same purpose by taking one cup, thank you, one cup of milk and the juice of half a lemon. How are you doing so far? Lemon, no. <laughs> In the comments, I care about you. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, and we're just gonna set that aside and let it curdle. So we're cute, did I mention? Next, in a mixing bowl, we're gonna put two cups of all purpose flour. That's what people like on Valentine's Day flowers. Please come back and watch the sketch tomorrow. Oh, we were supposed to sift that. I don't think doing this is the same. Whatever. We're just gonna pretend we sifted it. Okay, we got shit to do. We're gonna add one cup of sugar. This is not a sugar. One cup of sugar. Sugar, I hardly know her. It doesn't matter, it's Valentine's Day. Make a move. One teaspoon baking soda. This is soda, cake rises. I don't think we've used that. I'm keeping it. Half teaspoon salt. Oh, I think that was more than half a teaspoon. Ooh. And one tablespoon unsweetened cacao powder. Okay, and then we're gonna mix that all up, even though the instructions doesn't say so. I feel like it's necessary to do before the dry ingredients. I've done cakes before now. I'm experienced. Our buttermilk should be all curdled now. We're gonna add that to the mix, along with two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one third cup of olive oil. Oh, I hope I have a third of cup. I love oil so much that it might be all gone. <gasps> come on, come on. Yay, we had enough. Happy Valentine's Day. It's not olive spoiled. <laughs> Moving on. Tablespoon of white vinegar or apple cider vinegar if you choose. I don't know which one would be better, so I'm just going with the first one. And lastly, two and three fourths tablespoon red food dye. For some reason, I thought there was just an ingredient in red velvet cake that made it red, but no, my life is a lie. And Nothing is real, once again. I really hope these cupcakes are to die for. <laughs> Did I get you high? No. Moving on. Okay, well this is not two and three fourths tablespoon, but that's all I have. Now it says to whisk this by hand, which I haven't done in a while. I've been using that sand mixer. I think this is actually enough food dye. It's very red. Ver, ver, red. You know, I don't really like mixing it by hand. I think I like the stand mixer. Why are we doing this? So it's to do this until all the lumps are gone. Except for the lovely lady lumps. Those can stay. Okay, all my lumps look pretty gone, and look how pretty that is. This is very pretty. I feel like normally red velvet cakes are darker than this, but this is like very Valentine's-y. So I'm digging it. Now, in this recipe, the person uses two seven-inch circle pans. I don't have a seven-inch circle pans and I definitely don't have two of them but I have an eight inch pan and a six inch pan and I think the volume of that evens out so math hopefully that was right we're gonna make cakes see what happens if you were making this into a cake, you could put parchment paper on the bottom, but we're not doing that. We're making balls. And we're just gonna divide the batter. I'm gonna try to make this as even as possible, depth-wise, so that the baking time can be good. Please be good. What does this taste like? It tastes like a chocolate cake. Did I stain myself? Yep, yep. Um, we're just gonna have that the rest of the video. You're welcome. We're gonna pop these in the oven for 30 minutes. And hopefully that is the right time, even though these are the wrong size dishes. 
Boom. Cool. Okay, while those are baking, we're gonna make the frosting. To do that, it's very simple. Don't know if it's gonna be easy, but it is simple. We're gonna take three tablespoons of butter or Earth Balance. I'm using Earth Balance. You use what you want. We got three and three fourths cup of powdered sugar. We're going hard on the sugar today. Mm-hmm, it's Valentine's Day. We are very cute, very cute. This time we are using our electric mixer because the recipe says we can, and I take instructions very seriously. Thank you, instructions, for allowing this. We're doing the juice of one lemon. This could be a lemon butter cream frosting. I don't know, it sounds official. Sure, let me know if that works for you. I used it twice, I, I did it twice. Are you still here? And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're just gonna use the paddle attachment, probably. Still learning, still learning, okay. And we're going to gradually increase the speed until it becomes thick and smooth. It's Valentine's Day. Mmm, oh my goodness, that is very good. Very thick, very T-H-I-C-C, -C, and very smooth. A lot of girth. So we're gonna just wait for our cakes to finish baking any day now. Then we'll proceed to the next step of our cake pop process. I'm in it for the long haul, baby. It's Valentine's Day. I don't know what mood this is. Better go. Okay, my microwave beeped at me, so hopefully our cakes are done. Let's see. Yeah, they look pretty done. Hopefully they're not overdone. Toothpick test is good, and I'm gonna say, Yes. Now we're gonna let those cool for like 10 minutes and then we get to do the next step of our cake pop. We are really good Valentines for people. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes now. Hopefully our cakes are cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Hey. You're so cool. This is the part that I've never done before, and I'm just pretty much guessing. Not guessing, I did a little bit of looking up how to do this, but um, let's just try it. Let's just jump into it. We're so cute. Basically, we're gonna take the mixing bowl that we mixed our cake batter in, I rinsed it out and washed it and dried it, did all the things to it. Then we're gonna take our cakes, and we're just gonna dump it into our mixing bowl. Like, we don't give no fuck. It's Valentine's Day. Oh, that came out like, I didn't even need this. Boom, bitches. You're not not a bitch, I'm so sorry. And then we're gonna take our frosting and put it into the cake and then we're gonna mix it up with our hands. One of the tips I read though is not to put too much frosting in. So this is probably way more frosting than we need. I just made it because that's how much it said to make in the recipe. If you were to make this as a cake, this is how much frosting you would need, but we probably won't need that much. We're just gonna kind of play it by ear here. I have a little bit of anxiety and I'm, it's, everything's fine. It doesn't always work, you know? Sometimes it works, sometimes it works, you know? We'll start with that much frosting. I hope we need more than that because I made a lot of frosting and I'm just gonna get in there with my hands. This is fun. Ow, okay, it's not all the way cooled down in there. Yeah, the cake is still hot. Okay, cake is hot, the cake is hot. Does that make a difference to our cake pops? Oh my goddamn goodness, that is so good. I'm washing my hands, it's fine. Okay, maybe if I do this with a spoon first. This is kind of hot. The reason we don't need that much frosting is because the cake is already kind of moist. Very moist. It's Valentine's Day. What we want is to be able to make balls with it and not be too wet then it'll fall apart. I'm not gonna put too much more frosting in there. It doesn't taste very frosting-y, but you wanna make sure that your balls are not too wet because if you have wet balls, it's gonna be very hard for you. You wanna be able to, like, when you make the ball, it sticks together and it's kind of crumbly. It's not like falling apart wetness. Balls on a plate. It's Valentine's Day. I also read if you want them to be like more uniform shape, you can use a little mini ice cream scooper. See you in a second. Wow, that was fun. That was a ball? Cool. Now that all our cakes is in balls, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some candy melts. You can get these at Michael's, at Target. You could use white chocolate if you want. Whatever you're gonna coat your cake pop balls in, that's what we're gonna melt in the microwave. We just want a little bit for now. If you're keeping it dairy free, you can find dairy free ones online. So there's that. Or you could just use this frosting that we made since we made so much of it. Oh, these didn't melt at all. Better. So we just got a very little bit going on right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our super cute Valentine's Day lollipop sticks. Oh my God, that would have been a disaster. There was a hole. Of course there's a hole. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Are you still watching? Cool. So we're gonna take each one of these and we're gonna put a little bit of this melting chocolate, whatever candy melt on it. I like a so. You see that? And then we're just gonna penetrate into the halfway point here, like that. Oh, it's getting really sexy in here. I did not plan on it being this sexy. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't go all the way through. Nope, 
We're just gonna keep them on the plate like that. Then it shouldn't do that. Do that with the entire plate of cake balls. Happy birthday to you. Sorry that your birthday is Valentine's Day. You got ripped off. So now all of our sticks are in our pops and what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick these babies in the freezer for 20 minutes. Also, remove all of your Halo Top ice cream so that you have room in your freezer for 20 minutes. There's barely enough room. Please. Does that work? I'm gonna make more room. Don't laugh at me. Well, that was a nightmare. I'll see you in 20 minutes. Hello, it's been 20 minutes, so our cake pops should be done in the freezer. I melted some candy melts in the microwave by putting in 30 seconds at a time and then stirring in between. Just a note on these, you're gonna wanna put them in containers where you can fully dip your cake pops without twirling them, like they fully submerge into the candiness. Does that make sense? So like, instead of going like this, we would go like this. We just want an in and out, you know what I'm saying? It's Valentine's Day. Are we done with that bit? I don't know. So I'm gonna do some pink, some white, you guessed it, and we're gonna decorate. Oh yeah, we gotta decorate immediately. Okay, so, oh my gosh, why? Look at these cute sprinkles I got from, look at how cute. The cake pops, after we dip them, they're gonna dry pretty quickly, so we're gonna have to decorate them immediately. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of sprinkles on this plate and just go nuts. I don't really, have a degree in decorating cake pops, so I don't really know if this is correct, but it's correct in this kitchen. You wanna do them differently, you do it under your roof. My roof, my rules, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna take one, we're gonna dip it. We're gonna take it out. Wow, we are excellent at this. Now I'm just gonna take my sprinkles and sprinkle them on like while it's still wet. <gasps> Ooh, oh, oh my gosh, that's a lot of sprinkles. Do this part better. Then it says you could stick these in a styrofoam thing to have them, um, dry, but I threw away all my styrofoam thingies because I thought I wasn't gonna need them. See what happens when you throw things away, magic art of tidying up, you end up needing things. Anyway, I'm being resourceful and I think I'm gonna try to stick them in this colander and maybe, maybe, oh, oh no, it's not. My stick's too big for this hole. It's Valentine's Day for sure. Okay, I have this other colander. Maybe, th maybe this one's more Valentine's day -y. Oh, come on, oh, please, oh, okay, there we go. Yes, baby, yes. Um, it's kind of sticking out weirdly, but we'll take it, we'll take it. Is that a cake pop or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> it's a cake pop. Hopefully this works and the cake doesn't uh, fall down because of gravity. Okay, now just do that 11 billion more times. Let's do a pink one. Cards on this, bitch. You're not a bitch, I'm sorry. Okay, total professional at decorating this. It's a hard on. Come back tomorrow for a sketch. Okay, our cake pops are done. They look beautiful. I don't wanna move them because for fear they will die. Here are some here. I took some B-rolls of it so you can see. Look at, look at that. Hey, that being said, there were a lot of casualties. A lot of casualties. Also, it took three hours from start to finish, so that's a lot of time of your life. And I would just say, if you want to make cake pops, don't. Or be really okay with wasting cake. Oh my gosh, this could have been a cake. Cupcakes for the win. But they're super cute, and I hope they're super tasty. We're gonna find out. They need to harden still. There's a lot of process. See, that happens with cake pops. I think by tomorrow, they should be good. I mean, I think in the next couple hours, they should be good. I don't know if I wanna wait that long, but. Oh, this one's actually hardened already. Okay, let's we'll see if they're tasty. It's the next day. You fell asleep last night. You should've just woke me up. No, I couldn't. You were snoring. You Did were you even try? 100% out. Did you try? I didn't want you to. You, you don't would, try to wake me up. That's you would not have been in this video. Anyways, 100%. you look real cute when you sleep. Look at our cake pops. They're so cute and perfect. They're was really great. Knock? Was that a knock? What's a knock? Do I look cute when I sleep or I don't look cute when I sleep? No, you do look cute. I do? Yeah, will you be my valentine? Yeah, sure. Somebody just texted me. It might be a valentine's day offer real quick here. Oh yeah, it's Tiff from uh, JK. <laughs> oh, well she's getting so, this. Um, She's my Valentine. So I took the cake pops, I put them in an airtight container so they didn't like get stale overnight. And they turned out super cute. And then I am doing this to make little Valentines for my friends, for people that I want to be my friends. Hopefully they'll be my friends. Isn't that cute? That is cute actually. Are these yeah. called cake pops? They are called cake pops. I've never had a cake pop. Well, you're gonna have one, except for you're gonna get the one that fell off a stick. So these two fell off their sticks, but they're still good. Perfect. Um, <laughs> it's more like a cake. Donut hole. <laughs> it yeah, it's basically just a donut hole, huh? Yeah, kind of. Cheers, me. Cheers. Happy Valentine's Day.
That's tight. Oh, hell yeah. That's so good inside. Like it. it takes a bit to get past the candy coating because. Yeah, I'm not a sprinkle guy. Really? Never been a sprinkles guy. Oh, I like sprinkles. They do taste like donut holes, actually. It, is, it just tastes <laughs> like 100% donut hole. <laughs> it's good, though. It's, it's really, good. really good. Yeah. Dang. Good thing I'm getting rid of all these so we don't get fat on them. Please do. <laughs> all right. Well, maybe these are tasty. They're tasty. Good job. Thank you. We have a sketch coming out tomorrow on this channel. Come back. Turn on your notifications. Turn them on right now. Turn on your notifications. Hey. Turn. Hey. Turn them on. Hey. Turn them on. I don't think they even know how to do it. You hit the bell. You oh, gotta hit okay. the bell. If I was sitting there, I'd be like, oh, wait, 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 wait. You gotta don't hit the bell. Me. Hey, to, to hit the bell. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> we have a sketch going up tomorrow. Please come back and watch it. I really like it. It's, it's a Valentine's Day sketch. Um, subscribe so you don't miss any of this or any of this. See you tomorrow, right? You have them turned on, right? Oh. Right? Yeah, that would actually be tight.